What is going on YouTube and welcome to another video. My name is Corey aka Soul Focus. Happy Friday to everybody. I hope this gives you guys a good break from work. For those of you that have to work on weekends, I'm sorry. I do two sometimes, but it's like once every six weeks. So I was going through my videos the other day. I try to watch my old videos ever so often just because I wanna critique myself and get better. And I've come a long way. I was on there and I've been constantly getting notifications on this video I did a few months back. If you wanna check it out, I'll put it right here. It's honestly my most viewed video. I wanna say about 6,500 views. Well, apparently on any social media platform, network, whatever, if if you say how you feel at all, I feel like even when it is negativity that people don't respond the same way always. Okay, great. That video's got 6,800 views or whatever it's got. Perfect. It's got like 34 likes and 210 dislikes. If you get on a social platform like YouTube, you gotta be able to take criticism and just respond to it kindly. As my mom always says, kill them with kindness. So that's what I do. I know it probably wasn't my best video that I've put out. I've had plenty of Ultra Boosts for everybody that's commenting and saying, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't always know what I'm talking about. But with Ultra Boosts, I know I own or have owned four to five, six pairs. But you guys can say whatever you want on that video. That's okay. It honestly doesn't bother me. I appreciate you guys and I promise you it'll only get better. On to why you guys click this video. I'm gonna stop talking so much about that. I got these shoes on StockX. As always, the reason I picked up this shoe was because I got a great deal on them. And I used to have a pair of shoes like these whenever I was in high school. It's just a little different colorway. The box is a lot tinier than in your normal Nike Adidas box. Something. These are the Nike. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was a terrible joke. Awful. These are the New Balance 997Hs. Traditional classic in the white colorway. I had a pair of New Balances whenever I was in high school. It was kind of a gray suede. Around the trim, it was like this bright lime green. But it was the most comfortable shoe I have ever owned. Except for the Ultra Boost. I haven't tried on a pair of New Balances in a long time. It feels very, very light. The constructions of every shoe is gonna be the same. You got fabric, you got stitching, and you got glue. But it's really the technology behind it that really differentiates sneaker companies. The 997H is a progressive next generation sidekick to the cult classic, its predecessor, the 997. Newly streamlined for those ready to set themselves apart with a modern favorite. It's a bold, reimagined lifestyle shoe straight from the 90s. Maybe Maybe that's why I think this is such a dope shoe. The 997H celebrates a heritage that endures beyond basic trends. Let's be honest guys, through the decades there's been tons of cultural shifts. Your drive for style remains and with this soft foam midsole to cushion every step forward, the 997H design will never ever hold you back. New Balance is rolling this shoe out as their new runner, calling it the 997H, streamlined for a contemporary and modernized look. And I really feel like that it's just a straight Straightforward, simple design. This new design comes with a GCEVA construction with a modernized outsole for a lightweight feel. Some of the other details when you go along the shoe, it includes a synthetic leather and edge debs on the tongue and collar and inspired by the original silhouette. It's a synthetic leather, but it feels really like any Jordan 1 in my opinion. I don't know how this is gonna hold up. I don't know if there's gonna be any color deterioration over time. They were just rub your leather. You have a rub your leather? To having these in hand and after trying them on, there's no surprise to me of how comfortable these actually were. I'm curious as how these are gonna hold up whenever I take them to the battlefield. By battlefield, I mean the street. New Balance has really come up. I feel like it was a popular brand back in the 80s, 90s. New Balance was founded by William J. Riley in 1906. I think that they were a lot more popular in the 90s. 90s, early 2000s, around in that era. I honestly never thought I was going to review a New Balance sneaker. I really think that it could be because Kawhi Leonard leaving Jordan brand. I don't know. That's speculation. That's just my opinion. You got your two big competitors. You got Nike and Adidas. And you hear about these shoes, but you never really hear about New Balance. But ever since Kawhi went to New Balance, I feel like it's become more popular. A lot of these shoes were cheaper shoes, but now they've made more designer shoes, I guess you would say. And these type of designer shoes are going for just as much as any Yeezy or off-white Nike. Some of them, not all of them. I have no problem with New Balance. The only thing I wish, every once in a while, maybe they, they switch up that end for New Balance on the side of the shoe. Because Nike will have Nike emblems everywhere. Or they'll have them, or they'll flip them and have them back 
backwards. Or Adidas, sometimes you can't even tell that there's Adidas logo on there. Kind of switch it up, differentiate it a little bit, keep us guessing. I got these on StockX for only $70. If you want to get under retail, I suggest you go to StockX. These, in my opinion, fit true to size. Do I honestly think that they're more comfortable than the Ultra Boost? No, I really don't. But it is a very comfortable shoe. I wouldn't consider this a running shoe. I wouldn't necessarily run in it. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks again for watching my video. My name is Corey, aka Soul Focus. Leave comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of this shoe. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Make sure to love life, love God, and love each other. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe. Peace.